This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, shark attack rolls on. Make sure to check out how to get your CGB shark token from CoolStuffInc.com. There's a link in the description and a quick ad after the intro. But this time we're doing something a little different with our shark attack. We're playing shark attack combo. Yep. Open the omen paths mutate. Some of you have seen this here and there. We ran into this deck in a video. You guys really loved that game because, well, it was pretty funny. They did like a million mutations and a, mil a million things. And then I cast unsummon and won. <laughs> it, was, it was brutal. Okay. But now we're going to let the shoe get on the other foot. And we are going to try to be the ones casting a million things and hope that our opponents don't beat us. So the combo, let's, uh, let's break down the combo really quick. Open the omen paths. You can cast it and he had two mana of any one color, uh, and two mana of any other color to your mana pool. You can use it to cast a creature or an enchantment spell. And then what people are doing with this a lot is they're using Vadrock, Apex of Thunder, also affectionately known by Godzilla fans as Rodan in the game. And this says that whenever this creature mutates, you may cast a non-creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So if you can mutate cheaply, Open the Omen Paths will generate four mana, which if you like mutate for two mana, that's a plus two mana. Plus you get other mutation effects as well. If you mutate for like one mana, let's say a Sea Dasher Octopus and a Polywog Baby Godzilla Symbiote combo, then you get a plus three mana. So if you're getting that free mana and you are piling it up and using it to cast mutate creature after mutate creature, you get this kind of snowball-y thing of effect that just piles up value. If you have two Vadrox of Thunder, if you have two Vadrox of Thunder and you use one of them to cast Omen for free and you use the other one to cast a card like Seize the Spoils or like See the Truth, then you start drawing through your deck at a very rapid rate. Every time you draw another Mutator and you add it to the stack, you get to make more mana and draw more cards and make more mana and draw more cards and make more mana and draw more cards. After you are drawing through a good amount of your deck, remember that mana from Open of the Omen Paths can cast enchantment spells, which is kind of weird. I don't know why it's creature and enchantment, but I'll take it because most people this is where the shark type tokens come in. Most people aren't using shark typhoon in the combo, but shark typhoon has a pretty interesting spot in this deck. When the deck is working as a combo, you can use the omen pass mana to cast the shark typhoon. Now, every time that you go through that cycle, every time you cast another open the omen paths or a seize the spoils or a see the truth, guess what you get? You get a shark. That's right. So you end up piling up dozens and dozens of sharks. And then what do you do with them? Well, in the big flurry of the combo, you cast Doomscar Titan, which is a one of in the deck, which is a six mana, four, four giant berserker. And when it enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one plus O oh and gain haste. And you attack your opponent with a sky full of sharks and they die. Now that's with the combo going off. I probably don't need four shark typhoons for that. In fact, the first game that you're going to see was my warm up game, the first time I ever tried to do the combo. And I only had one shark typhoon in the deck. The reason I went up to four is because shark typhoon lets you play a very interesting game with your opponent when they're running removal spells. Like what I just told you is a beautiful combo when the opponent can't do anything about it. But when the opponents are removal spells and control decks, well, Shark Typhoon gives you a whole other dimension where you can pile up some land, cycle a Shark Typhoon, make a shark, attack them. They have to deal with the shark. Maybe they do that at sorcery speed somehow. And then you can flash in a Sea Dasher Octopus and attack him with that and flash in a Shore Shark and attack him with that. And you play this flash game with your Shark Typhoons and your Shore Shark and your Sea Dasher. Eventually, they tap out to deal with it. And what do you do? You combo it them. So it gives the deck a whole other avenue of attack. It also gives the deck something to do in its worst matchup against decks like Rogues, which have both pressure and a ton of removal and counter spells. It's a nightmare. But what you can try to do is you can try to open the Omen Paths to ramp out a Shark Typhoon when they least expect it and just try to win with a hard cast Shark Typhoon. 
So it at least gives you something to try to do, although that matchup is still a nightmare. But I think that Shark Typhoon is a really good card for the deck, and uh, it gives it a little bit of dimension. Plus, I get to sneak this sweet combo deck into our Shark Attack week. So that's the deck. That's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to rope the opponent into oblivion, making billions of sharks, and then attack them with a Doomscar Titan. It's going to be fun. You're going to love it. We dedicate today's video to the latest member in the Cool Kids Club Dojo. This one goes out to Clicks. Yep. Just Clicks. The name is Clicks. Nice aviators. Blue hoodie. Enjoys uh, from California. Loves soccer. Good dude. Thank you for joining the Cool Kids Club Dojo. We're going to dedicate a cosmetic to you let's check the store no i remember what's in the store it's a bunch of those gain lands let's dedicate let's get a cosmetic from here what's a sweet cosmetic i think it's got to be this one. Oh yeah it's got to be this one thank you clicks i appreciate you if you would like to join the cool kids club dojo and get a cosmetic dedicated to you as well as a video then go below and hit the join button 4.99 a month supports the channel and i appreciate you there's also bonus videos. We just posted, uh, I think it's almost our 20th bonus video, and it's a coaching video from tournament play where I, where uh, a buddy of mine who played a tournament and I talk about our decisions. So if you like the decision trees that I go into in video, this goes a lot deeper than I can go in video. Believe it or not, for the amount of time I talk and the amount of time I take on some of my turns, I'm actually cutting it short. If you want to really go deep, we pause the video. We talk about every possibility our decisions can make. It's really good stuff. We do it weekly. So um, that is for members only. Now let's dive in. Let the Omen Pass nonsense begin. Get ready for a shark attack. Receive a free Covert Go Blue shark token with every Magic the Gathering singles order made from March 8th to March 21st. Only at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right. Don't know what I'm doing. This is literally my first game trying to play this pile. We've got the Titan in our opening hand with the Polywog. It's a disaster. If we end up discarding it, we probably can't win. That's fine. <laughs> it sees the spoils. We just can't ever discard this card. It's like a six card hand, and this card has to wait till the end of the game. Oh, we can just foretell it. You know, if we're like scared we're going to discard it <laughs> all right that that wasn't right that was i clicked too fast that's what that was that was supposed to be blue good start to the day good start to the day Our opponent has located a planes. I quiver with anticipation to know what they might do next. Okay, they're the rune combo deck. All right, let's play this. Uh, let's see who could make four mana. We really do, though, absolutely, positively. We need to draw into another mutate creature. Mutate creatures, okay. This is two combo decks trying to combo. Riveting entertainment, I'm sure. They they didn't play any runes. What now? Anything cool? Hollow Blade, Miss Land Drop. Okay. I've got a Palavog Symbiote. The Pouncing Shore Shark can instant speed bounce something at the cost of my treasure. Man, my brain is already like getting fried trying to play this stupid deck. But I, we do need to get deeper. I guess just casting Seas here is fine if the opponent doesn't do anything impressive. But if they put a rune on the stack, we can Shore Shark, right? 
Right? Yeah, we have the mana for that. That's pretty darn good. That's gonna ruin them. Get it? Ruin? Ruin? They totally rhyme or something. What if they have some kind of a hexproof thing? Don't risk it. Just take the damage. If they had like heroic intervention and I tried to like get them to discard then Shore Shark, I'd get blown out by that line. Well, now they have a little bit of protection, but it's okay. It doesn't cost us the symbiote by any stretch of the imagination. Having that in the graveyard is fine. For when we finally find a Vadrock. So we have the Omen Paths in the graveyard. We need to find a Vadrock. If we do that, we're doing pretty good. Our opponent might have a Snakeskin Veil, or they're debating how to use their Alseed. If they want to use their Alseed. If they think hard enough, they'll probably do it. Okay, they did it. They're, they're mana screwed, so it's kind of a tough game for them. But we can't show mercy. That's not how it works here. We might hit a Vadrock, so we'll go for this. We do not hit a Vadrock. Just go ahead and mutate here. I'm just going to keep holding on to this Titan. We've got these ops. There's the Typhoon. Okay, combo assembled. Uh, I think we bounced this, actually. It provides mana advantage. The other one kind of doesn't. So let's grab C's. Keep the deck moving. We can cast Opt here, but we don't need to. Not really in a hurry. They might have something obscure like Swift Justice, something that hits a tapped creature, so I'm not even attacking. We're trying to win by combo. All right, they found red mana. Let's see what that does to their hand. Right now we're missing mutation. We'll have to find some. We're still digging for a Vadrock. Like, Vadrock and I think we win. I think that's the combo. Two Vadrocks would be insane. Here it comes again. Kaka! Griffin hype. Okay, Rune of Speed, give it haste. Yep, draw a card. Feel good about life. I mean, just generally, just being the best there ever was. No blocks. Down to 10. Very tempting to slam a Shark Typhoon, by the way. But we could just die. All that glitters, multiple runes at reduced cost. A lot of bad things could happen. So let's see if we can find some more mutations. I think that's by far the best thing we can go for. Mm, don't need more ops. Diggy, diggy, diggy. There we go. Tap careful. Send back that envoy, make them go through that again. I don't know, is it time to send back the Hollow Blade? The cheap runes are scaring me. Okay, we found another shark. We have to keep our combo in hand, so not a lot of choice here, but we're going to use these Lord Rackus to get back multiple spells, like the Ops. Opt. More Opt. Take that action. 
So the opponent will replay it, and then we'll flash in another shark. Again, trying to win by combo. Shark will bounce the Hollow Blade and the Transcendent Envoy. It has flash. It has a cost reduction because one of these is a Poliwog. One wants to go to combat, though. They're playing around it. Funky. I'll take it. Rather bounce two things. Showdown? Okay. That's fine, too. This lets me just use my ops here. Or at least one opt. So they have a ton of stuff for next turn. We definitely need a flash mutation to blow them out in that turn cycle. So... Okay, that's pretty good. That's okay. Still looking for a Vadrock. Let's see if we can find it. Yay! Is that game? Let's find out. Let's find out. We can discard the this land because it comes in tapped. We want an untapped one. Rodan. Under. Uh, get, okay. Instant or sorcery. This comes to my hand. So let's get the opt to my hand. Uh, instant or sorcery hand. And then this is what we cast for free. So we cast Open the Omen Pass for free. The next cycle I'll like show you exactly what I mean. There we go. Two ops to the hand. Take that action. All right. I think we've got enough mana to do this. So we play Shark Typhoon. Because Omen Pass lets us play an enchantment. We play Sea Dasher Octopus on the Shore Shark. Show shark. Our opponent can't hold priority anymore. Haha. <laughs> That'll speed the game up. Alright. It says target instant or sorcery. That means it goes to hand. I have trouble reading this small little font sometimes. And it's grayed out. So it helps to look up here. If it says target instant or sorcery at the top. Then you're returning to hand. If it says converted mana cost 3 or less. You're playing it. Uh, discard a card. Yeah, I guess. It's close. I don't know if I've actually got this. I don't know if we're going to cast enough spells. Yeah, we have six here, so we can play the Doomscar Titan. Is that enough for just lethal? One, two, three, four, five... Plus four. Plus four. I don't have another mutate, so I guess. But I'm curious about, does my opponent kill me? Five, 10, 18. If I had attacked earlier. Cringe. All right, let's put it on the opponent. Can you kill me? Let's, let's play fair now. They stuck around. Can you kill me, opponent? So remember, the mana from Open the Omen Pass can only cast creatures or enchantments. So if you're wondering why I didn't use the mana to cast these and keep going, that's why. Alright, do you have a way to give it haste and plus a million plus a million? Like, is all that glitters and the rune good enough? The red rune. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, lifelink, pog. Okay. And we're done. And scoop. In the war of the funky pile stuff onto one thing combo decks, we have emerged victorious. Samurai! Um, okay. It's kind of a funky hand. Don't know if it does exactly what we need it to. 
We're on the draw, so we'll probably hit a third land okay, and we have See the Truth to try to do it. If we're mutating Pouncing Shore Sharks and they can't kill our Symbiote, we can compete with aggro decks. So we will try. Opponent with the full rope to start the game. AFK, DC, tough hand. They took one mulligan at least. Now the rope is running and they have to pick the card to put back. Looks like they got there. This is mono red. I can't believe they thought that hard. About anything. Robber of the rich. Must be nice. We're not blocking, but they don't have to know that just yet. What do we need to draw? We need to draw land. A land, and this gets interesting if they don't have land frostbite. Mm hmm. Well, they've taken two lands that I needed. Big turn. They miss a land, and we draw the worst card that we could draw. Easily the worst card to draw in the entire deck, not close. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna block, but I also want to, I don't know. Make their turn awkward. Make them think I might. Uh-huh. Nothing new under the sun here. Now they steal my Shore Shark. But they're a long way from playing that. What else? Nothing. Open the Omen Paths. That's a card. Let's see, we don't want this to get mutated onto. Let's put a stop on their upkeep, I guess. Oh wait, we might hit a land drop. We're going to do it this turn. Not the combo, no! All right, um, do I drop this in the graveyard? I can use it to cast the Rodan next turn, so I guess I'll drop this. I don't know why. I always have it. I always have my combo. The Omen Paths and the Shark Typhoon. The, the Doomscar Titan and the Shark Typhoon. Every game I've played so far, I've had it in hand. All right, Land Frostbite. Okay, they have to redeploy. Wait, they attack. They have no land. Nice. All right, let's do some work. What to discard? I guess one of these sharks, as good as they are. All right, choose one to cast. Uh, we can draw three here, but we can't recast another. Um, what can I hit? How do I... So I can generate more mana. Like I can plus one, plus one, then Shark Typhoon, maybe? I, I, but I can't get deeper in the deck, really. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's see how far we can go. This is one of those things where I'm not actually sure of the deck's capabilities. I haven't played it enough. So I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe I can just win from here and I don't know it, right? All right, so target instant of sorcery, that's you. Come back to hand. Casting cost three or less, that's you. All right, make mana, get the card. Again, nice. That's another mutation, that's more mana. 
this comes to hand. This gets cast for free. More mana. Alright, I've got enough here to go Shark Typhoon. And now I mutate again. Draw a discard. Discard this because I'm getting it back in my hand anyway. All right, uh, get back this. Open this. Two mana. There's a shark. Red, blue. Okay, do we draw a mutate? We don't have a mutate here. So I'm playing this. And I have one more mana that I can't really use because it has to be an enchantment or creature. So we can attack here for 14. I don't think the opponent can kill me from here. <laughs> And they're probably dead next turn, plus we get to draw two because there are two octopi under there. And we'll play this tap land, say go. Mono red, can you deal seven from this position? They have the land. Show me the frostbite, yep, pro gamer. <laughs> we got away with one. We, we stole one from the fervent champion, the robber of the rich. All right, so they hold back to block. We don't have a way to give a creature haste this turn. If we can remove the robber, we can win. How do we remove the robber? There's a shore shark down there, but we can't get to it. Um, not a lot of spells to get. I don't know. I don't think I can win that turn, but I can put my opponent in an endless chump blocking loop and make sharks for everything I play, so I don't think they can beat me. On the draw, fighting the Captain Barbosa. I guess we try it. We have to draw some mutators, but believe in the mutate. There's the mutate. All right. I don't think we just run this out because it just dies. We want to play it when it can also do something. So we're passing turn. Settle in. This probably isn't going to be very fun for a while. We have to find a way to put pressure on them with our flash creatures, our shark typhoon, and then pop off. On the bright side, we don't have dead cards because we don't play removal. But Demir Control, it's not fun. Nothing about it will be enjoyable. Let's add blue, spend mana only to foretell a card from your hand or cast an instant or sorcery as a zombie wizard. It's like a limited card, right? How about that? How about that? Lord Rackus. So we could play the Polywog Symbiote, mutate onto it at flash speed with the C-Dasher Octopus. I still think the opponent will just kill it, which is not inspiring. We could play the Open the Omen Paths and then play the Polywog Symbiote and put a Lord Rackus onto it, which would draw and discard a card and get back and Open the Omen Paths. That just doesn't seem like we did anything, though. I think we just hold. It just feels like we're going to lose so bad. Opponent fiddles around trying to figure out how to foretell a card. Finally does. Doesn't play anything. Not interested in attacking at all. Uh, let's make a shark. We can see dash onto it. It's not exactly something the opponent wants to have to deal with. Three open the omen paths is super unfortunate. Like, they're some of the only dead cards we could really draw.
play one of these. I think now is a good time because we can f we can cast this for two. We don't have to mutate it onto anything. So it'll get us at least a draw discard. Weird. Opponent's up to something. Balmir Knight. Lose one life, draw a card. I don't know what their deck is really doing, I guess. I just assume it's a lot of controlly things I'm not going to like. Let's just play this to draw a card, discard a card here. Okay. Yeah, a lot of controlly things I'm not going to like. Trust me, I love it when I play it. I do not love playing against it. I'm not a fool. But we're almost to a hard... Actually, we are to a hard cast Shark Typhoon. This adds a blue. They could have a saw it coming. How gutsy are you feeling? They did foretell a card. They do play Essence Scatter. I don't think the Shark Typhoon will resolve, but I could try to hard cast it here using Open the Omen Paths for mana. If we do, we probably win. If we don't, we're down a, an Omen Paths and a Shark Typhoon. I think that risk reward is not too bad. You son of a... We still had to get through it somehow, but... Oh. Opponent on a mission to be boring. Let's see what we can find. Yes. <laughs> we'll try it again. Um, how do we get them to do something in this turn cycle? I honestly don't know. They're just too stubborn. They're too stubbornly draw go. Too patient. Which is, in its own way, a wing con. We could try to mutate this, and if it misses, like if they remove this in a... If they remove this in response, we can mutate this. We attack first. I know we might miss a point of damage, but we attack first just to see if they act. The point of damage probably isn't important. Okay. How many counters can you stack up? One. Wouldn't be Captain Barbosa without some zombies. Of the aquatic variety. Okay, so, Erebos' intervention means I don't get my mutate, but then I do this. And I get back an opt, and I get back an omen paths. So they're going to probably try to kill this, but we'll see. They know I have flash mutators like C Dash or Octopus that could make them sad, but they just refuse to do something on their own turn. So what do you think? Do they have another counter spell? How many times can they have it? Leaving one mana up in case of a Jwari Disruption, or to cast this Opt. Uh-huh. Nice one. What else you got? 
Nice. I will make shark. I will draw more ops. I like them. Right now they come with one ones. Opponent should have used the Harbinger. Oh, I guess they have a frantic inventory to draw two more. Okay. That makes sense then. I was gonna say uh, they could have like scryed with their omen, but they don't need to. They they have everything they need in life. But do they have a way to move the shark typhoon? That's a 1-1 one -one death touch. Questionable choice, but there it is. Yes, it's still on the battlefield, I know. Thank you for touching it. The Lord Dracus is good if we can actually get it to land on the other Dracai. I don't know how you say that. They didn't have a counter two turns ago, but they've seen three cards since then. Keep going through the deck, find a shore shark. Okay, that mutates at instant speed. That's a big deal. Because we can wait till our opponent taps low, or we can set it up where like we play this and then we play this. Opponent checks on all their cards to make sure they still exist, and they do. Alright, let's uh let them make a decision here, and then we're going to bring in the shore shark. One to the top. Bounce you. They seem to be a bit low on mana. Let's get back these ops. They're going to make a bunch of baby sharks to pressure our opponent. I keep expecting this to die. Hasn't died yet. Kind of weird. Another Harbinger. Well, same Harbinger, but... Opponent recasting after hitting a land drop. Three mana available. Reading my Shark Typhoon again. Just, you know, gotta make sure it's there. I'll keep touching it. How would you like it if I just kept touching your omen? Huh? 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 Card touchers. We'll draw that. Mutates at instant speed, gets back the ops. It, it's kind of funny watching these ops just make this, like, swarm of sharks. The school of sharks? Is that what we're supposed to say? Bra bra bra. Get him. A sky full of sharks. If they sacrifice an omen here for the scry, we'll let them make the decision, and then we will opt and octopus. Let them make their decisions first, so they don't know about all the things that you have in store for them. Let them wonder what the cards in your hand might do when they're deciding what to keep on top and what to put on the bottom. Do this first, because we're going to put it back in our hand. Oh, this is glorious. Oh, this feels so good. The value. It's insane. Now we just need a Toski. Um, while they're tapped out... Now nah, let's save some of these for end step. If the opponent has extinction event. We've got our engine running. Everything's fine. Keep in mind, open the Omen Pass has another mode. Creatures you control get plus one, plus oh. All right, Blood and Snow. So, can't really stop that. We don't have a counter in the deck. What are they getting back? Nothing important. All right. Okay, something to mutate onto, can't complain. Yes. Are we going off? Are we going off? I 
There is an omen paths down there already. Red, blue. Okay. That'll get us some extra loot. There's the Titan. Can we get there? Should have put the Omen Paths in the graveyard. Um, how do I get to another mutator? I don't know if I do. So, target instant or sorcery card to come to hand is the opt. Cast open the omen paths. Uh, two mana. Uh, this should be enough, right? They're at 14. This A lot of this flies. Could just cast it here. If I cast this, what am I hoping to hit? Something else. All right. Let's put the pressure on. We have a shark typhoon. If we don't kill them now, we'll kill them later. Hi, how you doing? Did it math, that's for you. That's blocker stuff. They're dead. They're definitely dead. All right. Got the W over funky snow control. On the draw? Stats check. I need to know. Is it, am I making it up? All right, statistics. Where's my deck? 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 Typhoon mutate. On the draw four times. On the play once. Good to know. It's just good information to have, you know? Also, Doomscar Titan in hand three out of five, uh, out of uh, opening hand, three out of six times. As a one of. <laughs> Man, magic is funny. It's pretty good. Already off to the slow races. Do something. We're playing full control mode with red cards and blue ones and a sprite dragon. Well, that's going to be rough. Let's hope they can't deal with this. But now we're doing stuff. People are tapping mana. Very exciting. It was exciting. Opponent got exhausted. Needed a break. Wow, that took a long time for you to figure out. Yeah, you you kill the thing. Good job. All right, I'm I'm getting salty. I'm getting salty. I I'm playing against really slow players today, like really glacially slow. It's getting to me. I wish I had a time to cast the opt, but I played the tap land on one. If I could take it all back, I could have led with the opt, and then I'd be able to get it back when I mutate onto the Dracus, but right now it looks like that won't happen. Okay, interesting. Um, so, this is an instant speed effect. We could let the opponent try to go for whatever they're trying to go for. But then we don't get to attack, really. We could also see if they block and try to kill both creatures. That's not very good. Because then we just have nothing going on. It 
it's an interesting opportunity for a bluff attack though now i'm the one playing slow um yeah let's make it happen bounce the one that doesn't have haste get busy give him a little chomping We've got an Octopus and an Opt for next turn. There is a Doomscar Titan if we can hit them enough times. They did keep something on top, right? So it's just gotta be a spell. Is it a good one? Do they have another Royal Eruption? That would be heartbreaking. They're gonna dig. Scry to the bottom. No, not one life. Stormwind comes back. And this cry will be... TBD. <laughs> we're not sure. We don't know what we're scrying yet. Thinking. Thinking. Bottom. Double bottom. Nice. So I really want to find another cheap mutator. Like another Lord Rackus would be perfect. Perfect. Okay, bro. Okay, come on. Come on. Calm down. Calm down. That's pretty good. Uh, cast a card from the graveyard, which we don't have anything there yet. But this... Actually, it doesn't really work, does it? Can I mutate both? I cannot. So I want to mutate this. So let's see what we can find here. Spoils. How do we get it into the graveyard? We can get in the graveyard this turn. What are we discarding? Because we need to also cast the octopus. So we need to play this. We could also cast you. Just straight cast it. I don't like that though. We also get back another opt if we do this. How do we get this in the graveyard? Casting it seems the smart way. Um, how close are we to dead? We're very close to dead. Like either of these could kill us next turn if we don't bounce them both somehow. So I guess I need to do this. Try to opt into another. That doesn't work. Another mana. That doesn't work. So we need to draw into another mutate creature with the octopus. Or if the opponent blocks here, we can just trade away. Like we can get one last mutation bouncing the dragon. Yeah, they're they're not gonna block. But we really want to draw like another Lord Rackus. Alright, so this is probably lethal, but they do need enough spells, and the spells have to either go face or draw. This is definitely lethal with one spell. This is not lethal with one spell, but they can replay it. I think we need to bounce both anyway, but... Hmm. Wow, we did hit. And it has flash. We hit. We're in it. We're not dead. We might be dead. We're close to not being dead. Uh-huh. Let some of that happen. Off the top. All right, they just need like a royal eruption going face here and they win. Does a shock do it? A shock doesn't quite do it, but two shocks do. An infuriate does it. But let's see how they, let's see how they do it. Like they can just present lethal here with this attack and then force me to react. Yeah, they have royal eruption. That's so mean. So we'll make them attack. God, God they're mean. Why'd you have to be so mean? Why'd you have to be so mean? Uh, I lost a hundred ranks for that. We're on the play. 
Let's go. It's a good hand, too. Good scroll! I don't make it up, guys. It is every day. Every day, I'm about 20% on the play for the first hour. Every day. I, I've kept track for the ever since I was uh, like I started using the tracker thing. I got a little addicted to it. It seven days in a row. This is not a drill. This is not a joke. This is not this. This is not right. I always believed it was something messed up, but it is not right. And what's with my opponents today? Every single one of them needs twenty minutes to like figure out how to do something. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have fun. This is gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Some good combo magic. We're gonna draw some ops. Maybe a seize the spoils. We're gonna draw. What are we gonna draw? We're gonna draw all kinds of cool things. That's what we're gonna draw. I'm also thinking a lot about my last game with the Is It Mage, and if I had just bounced the Stormwing Entity, I think I could have pulled that off. I can't believe I didn't, to be honest. I guess I was hoping that there was a world where the Stormwing Entity didn't have enough prowess triggers to present lethal on its own, so that if we didn't draw another Mutator, but that, that was a silly idea. That was not smart. So I'm also just kind of salty with myself. I got sucked into some rather bad play. Sucked by the vortex of, of tankery. All right, this is a good matchup though. They're not going to interfere with me too much. The thing I have to worry about the most is the um, Skyclave Apparition. Let's do this. Sure. I don't think we can draw too many of that card. I even have the mana, the white mana right now to cast it. Okay, I said you couldn't draw too many. Now I'm like, what? But. Yeah, I'm discarding the Typhoon. Put it over the Dracus. We get back the Opt. Do we attack? The opponent might just play Apparition and remove it. We really don't want that, and they really want to do it whether we're blocking or not. So let's take our two points. This way, even if they kill this, we get to play a Rodan and we get to Opt. Yep. There's the app, so good on us for the two damage. They've also exiled five points worth of mutate, so we get a 5-5 five five if we get rid of this. That's pretty exciting. Ooh, we could ambush it. I don't think that's worth it, though. Make them have another apparition here. We've got a flying first striker. Yeah, this is a matchup I think that we want. It's really hard for the opponent to deal with all of our creatures. Our bounce spells are pretty good against them. Bounce spells, you know what I mean, the Shore Shark. It's not really a... It's so much more than a bounce spell. Okay, that two points we scammed might come in handy because our opponent is crushing it. All right. Right now, we're just an opting Andy trying to find our omen paths. This has first strike. Um. Read the card. Did they want the plus one plus one counter that bad? Because now I get a five five. Doesn't seem like a good deal. I said you could never have too many of this. I'm starting to question that. Um, <laughs> Shuffler's fine. Rodan, a fleet of Rodans. I said, you know what? I said it and I'm standing by it. This is what we call a content keep. Seize the spoils. That's a good one. Because we get that in the graveyard. Sorry. I know what I said. Silence. We don't have enough to mutate that, do we? Yeah, we don't have a polywog symbiote. I kind of forgot it died. 
actually don't have anything mutated there. They exiled it. Um, so what do we do? This will be fun. I got idea. All right, target instant or sorcery card. This is what's coming to hand and then convert a man cost three or less. That's the you uh, Drop you I guess More cards there's a symbiote Still looking for omen paths Um, click the option below to select it. This is the card to cast. So, submit. Guess I'll drop you. Yay, a treasure. We can attack for a card. We're at 14. Our opponent can power this up and attack for a bundle. I think having the 5-5 five five is a good safety measure. And we're still digging for omen paths. That's a good draw. Seize the Spoils is doing a good mini Omen Paths impression by getting us some mana as we go. So we can do all kinds of nice things. Our opponent turns on their mighty Heliod. They're moving counters around like a boss. Gonna give that thing lifelink. Gonna, like, make angels. Man, they're so good. So good at magic, guys. It's so strong. Look at him go. All right, uh, this 5-5 five five has to go under this bus. I mean, hey, I played life gained a number one mythic. I can make fun of it if I can. If, if I can make fun of it, anybody can, okay? Okay? Chill. Chill, you ragers. All right, open the omen pass, let's go. Not quite. Um. Mm. Gonna need this reduced cost. Gonna need to hit omen paths, quite frankly. It's gotta happen. That's another mana. This can go in the graveyard. Now we can go over. As for a strike, what do we bounce? We can bounce the Heliod. The opponent actually didn't use their speaker. <laughs> Lol. Um, what gains the most life? Let's send you away. All right, so return something to my hand. Cast you for free. Okay, we're up to three mana, which can add another Vade Rock to the mix. We still haven't found Omen Paths. Just about out of mana, but we're also on a bouncing frenzy here. All right, target instant or sorcery, that's you. Cast for free, that's you. Cast for free, that's you. Three new cards, no omen paths, but we can cast the octopus. And we can keep digging. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Discarding instants or sorceries makes sense. We get them back anyway. Uh, take that action. All right, next trick. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep the party going, everybody. All right, target instant or sorcery, opt. Uh, three or less, you. Three or less, you. Omen paths. It might be too late, though. 
Wait, it's not. We have an octopus as well. Oh my gosh. Discard the omen pass. Draw, draw. Two typhoons. Okay, uh, take action. Now what? Uh, octopus. <laughs> right there. <gasps> draw and discard. Under. Cast. Oh, don't return that to hand. All right, cast Omen Paths. Cast Spoils. Discard. I guess I'll... Well, these spells are always the best things to discard. They give you more options. Two mana of any color. We're doing it. We're doing it. Don't don't leave. Don't leave. This is this is the exciting part. Um, draw another mutate. Yes. Every mutate now is plus a mana. All right. Return to hand. Return to... Oh, cast for free. That's you. And you. Land. Nice. Alright, add two. Blue, red. Alright, no more octopi. So we have to do a shore shark here before we can... Actually, since we have multiple Shore Sharks, playing this makes sense because it saves us a mana for each mutation and gets us deeper in the deck, which we have 17, 16. We got to watch out a little bit. We don't want to run out of cards completely. Okay, now we have two Omen Paths. We can stop drawing cards with the extra cards. All right, so um, Instant or Sorcery Return, that's you. Mana cost three or less, that's you. Mana cost three or less, that's you. Blue, red. Gotta hurry now, we don't wanna time out. Blue, red. Our opponent's being very gracious watching us do this. Or they're just saying, I don't believe you're actually gonna beat me with this, are you? We are down to our last mutation. No, found another mutation, like a boss deck is designed to do it. It's not that weird. All right. Omen. Omen. So many options. So many options. So much mana. All right. Typhoon. Typhoon. Dracus. Another Dracus. Now we have to watch out for all the instances of sorceries that we're returning. All right, under. Oh no, the rope! The rope is here! Come on! Oh no, I hit the wrong thing! Ah! I hit the wrong thing! I'm tilting! I'm tilting! We have to find the... We have to find our creature! The rope is after us! All right, it's not there. How many timeouts? Just one? No! No! All right, um, uh, cast you. Oh no, it's not gonna work. We're not gonna get there. Uh, you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And you, and it's not gonna get there. It's not gonna happen. Okay, give me like a little time. No, it's actually expiring. Got gotcha. you. All right, seven cards. <laughs> Hi. Suck it. There it is. With three cards left in the deck. No, don't discard it. <gasps> It auto discarded. Is it enough to win? Can we still win? We have 10 three threes in that fly. 10 three threes, that's 30 damage. So what I should have done instead of doing another mutate, I should have used my treasures to just cast opt and find it. Because I had enough mana in the mana pool, right? So if I had just cast the ops in my hand, 
that's what I'll do next time when I get that close to the bottom of the deck. I'll just cast the ops in my hand, scry draw, scry draw, scry draw, without all the triggers. And that will be enough. That would be enough. But I didn't do that, I, I just kind of panicked. Too excited. All right, our opponent goes to 24. Now this has first strike. We have to be careful. If we attack with this and we overdraw our hand, we lose. Or we overdraw our deck, I should say. All right, our opponent has established some lifelinking board presence. Yeah, there is a trap here. If if we're on two cards and we first strike with this and it has three octopi on it, we lose because we draw the cards before this damage is dealt. But the opponent scoops it up. Oh my gosh. I actually timed out trying to combo them. And we are back for the post-game wrap-up. And it's going to be kind of a bittersweet one because I think this deck is really good against Mono White. But I think it's really bad against Mono Red. Frostbite, in particular, is a card that kills everything that this deck has going on at all times. Just blows it out completely for just one mana. It's disgusting. You have to get lucky. And the matchup with Rogues is completely unplayable, and I don't recommend it. So I wouldn't play this to rank up ladder if, like, Mythics and win rates are your goal. I would definitely play it for fun. Uh, this, for me, is a pretty good play Q deck, or if you're not concerned with Mythic, uh, it is good enough to be a ladder deck. You just don't worry about if you lose a bunch to rogues in a row. Maybe you're the type who's already scooping to rogues because you're sick of it. Then this deck might be fun for you. So, uh, I don't recommend staying in games with rogues. It's just not fun. You're like a 1% like to win when the game starts unless they get mana screwed. So why, why stay there and make yourself miserable? But against uh, Mono White, like this is really good because they just don't have enough interaction for you and you just go nuts. And even if you can't combo, finish comboing off like me, uh, you can oftentimes just make a sky full of sharks that they can't beat. So uh, it's a sweet deck for that. I try to think about other matchups. I think that the matchup with like a Yorin ramp deck is interesting because they probably don't have counters, just some spot removal. And you might be able to catch them going for their big play like an ultimatum. And then you just untap combo and win. That could be really sweet, but we didn't get that matchup today. So uh, yeah, the deck is 100% 100% high on the sweet meter, you know? It, it's nice. It, it's fun to play. It Budget-wise, you need some mythics, and there are very narrow mythics. If you craft Vadrock, there aren't a lot of places to play Vadrock, and the deck doesn't work without Vadrock. Uh, there is no replacement for it. So, if you're down to craft this with the mythics, I mean, I did it just for the sweet Rodans a long time ago. If you're down to craft it, the rest of the deck is very budget-friendly. Bouncing Shore Shark, who cares, right? Lord Dracus, we got that. Uh, Seize the Spoils is a common. Open the Omen Pass is a common. Yeah, I mean, like, there there aren't many more rares in the deck if you want to go for the Vadrock. So, you know, you tell me. I'm sure you already have your four Shark Typhoons. So, how far do you want to take it? Do you want to play shark combo? Or are you content with Yorians and the occasional hardcast typhoon? The call is yours to make. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool.